I was at a, um, a national religious broadcasters convention a couple of years ago in Orlando. And um, I, I'm on what they call the President's Council. We've been part of NRB. We, we do that to protect the freedom to broadcast. And so um, I was at this meeting and a gentleman came in and he's the pastor of the largest Christian church in the world. Used to be in South Korea. That's no longer true. Now the largest Christian church in the world and the fastest growing is in India, a Hindu country. And uh, the man's name is Dr. Satish Kumar. And so he walked in the room and everyone wanted to visit. He was sort of the guest speaker for the religious broadcasters. And he walks in, I see him, he sees me and he stops and he stares at me. I thought, well, that was a very clear recognition. I thought, what did I do wrong? And sometimes people see me and they go, oh, there's that, you know, cult leader or something. I don't know what they're thinking. <laughs> and, and, uh, uh, and sometimes it's positive. And he, I went out and shook my, his hand. He said, Doug Batchelor, amazing facts. I said, I watch your programs. I said, well, praise the Lord. The next day he was preaching and I thought, well, I'll come and listen. He's talking to this room full of evangelical uh, ministers and broadcasters. I know Danny's been to NRB and Moses. They know what I'm talking about. And um, during his sermon, he stops. He says, I see our brother, Pastor Bachelor, is here with amazing facts. I thought, oh, if you think that's going to help you in this crowd, it's probably not true. But he, anyway, he said that. And, and he said, um, he starts then talking about the second coming and the Sabbath. And he said, you know, there's 2,000 years from Adam to Abraham, 2,000 years from Abraham to Jesus, 2,000 years from Jesus to where we're living today. And then we spend 1,000 years Sabbath with the Lord. And everyone's going, hallelujah. Honest. So I went up to him afterward. I said, we've got a training school in India. If I go visit our school, we'd like to come see you. He said, well, I hope you do. So we did. We, we went to India to uh, meet with our uh, evangelism training school over there and and um, went to visit Dr. Kumar. Church has 190,000 members. And in, the, uh, just on the outskirts of Hyderabad, India. And um, while we were there, he said, you know, um, maybe you'd like to share for us tonight. He said, of course, our services are in uh, Telugu. So we can't have you do the main services on Sunday, but we're having a Friday night prayer meeting. We do an all-night prayer meeting, and, and uh, maybe 10 o'clock tonight, you'd like to talk? He said, we'll probably have about 25 here. Now, I had just flown in to India. No, that's a long flight. <laughs> and, and I thought, oh, you know, I love the Lord, and I, I like the ability. i got to wake up early and preach, and, the, and I'm supposed to preach at the conference that same day. And... And I'm thinking about, and John Ross is there with us. He elbows me and he says, he's talking about 1,000. I said, what? He said, 25,000. I said, I'll be there. <laughs> I told you about how I feel about a crowd. <laughs> we came that night. We, we spoke earlier that day at uh, the conference office. And then later that night, we got there. Heaven. They pray all night. Oh, well, they stayed till five in the morning because the people didn't have to go eat and go to work. Talk, talk about commitment. And he stays there with them all night. He's not like one of those pastors, you have an all night prayer service, I'm going home. And so we got up and the men are sitting on one side. They seat 18,000 in the main room. And they, and he built that thing in like 52 days. How come it takes us so long in California? And then they had another room with like 10,000 overflow. It would seat that. And he has five services on Sunday. Anyway, I'll tell you, it was pretty exciting to be able to get up and share with them. And I just shared my testimony. And uh, we stayed in touch. He just texted me a few days ago. We went to see their church on Sunday. And um, they gave us the, the VIP tour. And, and I thought, why is this church exploding? They're just, he stands up there, he opens the Bible, and he goes through the Bible, and he does expository preaching of the word, and the people there are hungering for it, and it's just exploding all over India. And he, he texted me not long ago, he said, please pray for me, we're getting opposition from the government and from other pastors because the church is growing so much. 
And so we have just been so excited to see the power of the word around the world. 